Club for the Premier League. We have Somerton Bowling Club against Westlake. They are both fantastic Premier League players, all of them. They have the state title to their name. <coughs> Okay, everybody, it's one o'clock. Uh, off and racing. Have a good game. And uh, cutting the green, and then he hopped on the roller. I think he got on there about eight o'clock, and uh, came in at twelve o'clock. So he spent some hours rolling the greens this morning. So they're running absolutely beautiful. I'd say about seventeen, seventeen and a half. They'll only quicken up, I'm sure, as the day goes on. Won't take long for the players to settle in. It's got to wait pretty well. Not bad. And of course Liv's new to the club this year, coming from uh, Lockley's Bowling Club. She's a third year bowler and she's doing remarkably well. Andy Star from Linton, the second bowl. And Phil's playing number two, he's actually a replacement player today. He's uh, replacing Dan Matthews, uh, whose little girl Ruby is actually having her first birthday today. So it's a very good start from Phil. Phil's been at the club for 15 years with Westlakes. So a very accomplished player. Now number two is uh, Kari Heikkinen, who's been at Somerton for many, many years. Good start from Kari, just running through. Perfect conditions for bowls, very light breeze. Greens are stated magnificent, running about 17 seconds. Another very good bowl here from Phil. Oh, fantastic bowl, Phil. So the matchups we've got today, so as well as this one, we've got James Gregory playing Jeff Aworth, Isaac Trenorden versus Nathan Pedersen, and Josh Chopin versus Scott Taylor. As you can see on the board, we've also got the overall scores. We'll give you any updates of any um, anything happening on the other rinks as well. But early on, we'll stay with this rink for a while, um, see how it progresses, and then go from there. Oh, 
last one. Preston on the mat with the bright orange balls. Looking a pretty good line here, maybe just a fraction short. Everyone seems to be getting their line, it's just that weight. And of course it's only the first end, so they need a bit of time to settle in. Probably a few nerves out there, even though they're all grown men yep. and women. <laughs> Always have a few nerves on grand final day. Not too far away. See if Preston can make a correction here. He usually does. And just on grand finals, I'd like to congratulate all of South Australia on their grand finals. Yesterday, most were played yesterday. And of course, we've still got a few grand finals coming up on uh, Wednesday and Thursday for Metropolitan. Very nice from Preston there. Lovely yeah. correction, Preston. Yeah. Might have shot very close. Probably favour the light blue ball. Yeah, it's a bit hard from this angle, isn't it? Yeah, it feels. <laughs> yes, there were many grand finals played yesterday, so... And it was quite windy yesterday. The conditions here are beautiful today, so... But uh, once again, congratulations to all those clubs that uh, have premierships this season. Just start him on the mat. Very fine young bowler named Josh. For many years when he first started out, probably 12 or 13. Very close here from Josh. Yeah, yeah number one. Uh, playing the backhand. Just needs to tighten his line up a little bit from his first ball. Watching it very intently. It's coming around that Just a bit unlucky here. Yeah. Just flicking over to the forehand. First bowl of the from everyone on the forehand today. Very good line here from Josh. Gets around the front orange bowl. No, I'm just going to die into it. That is Summerton's bowl. I thought. Had a couple of changes from the teams around today. We've had, of course, Danny's out for Westlakes. And um, Luke Pettismar that usually plays three he is ill this morning so he had to uh, pull out so we've got Steve Foster filling in so we've uh, just dropped those down in Scooter's rink so Fozzie had to come in at the last minute so got the call this morning and stepped up to it big start from Summerton three zip on this rink um, they've taken an, 
Yeah, picked up four on the Scott Taylor rink. Good start from Linton Modra. Good reply from Liv. Pretty handy bowler you need from odds. Two good starters from Linton. Liv's had a remarkable year, just in her third year as bowler. She's um, been in the prestige medley, that's coming up again. And she's been included into, into that. And I believe she won the Westlake's Ladies Pairs Championship too. What a great bowl, Liv, well done. She won that at uh, Lockley's, didn't she, David, the Pairs? Championship, Liv? No, no, no? runner-up in the pairs. Runner-up? Yeah. Yeah, she uh, was runner-up in the singles and the pairs and the ladies yeah. at Lockleys. As I said, she's, uh, she's done remarkably well for just a bowler that's been bowling for a few years. Plenty, plenty, spends plenty of time out in the greens. Good on her. Yeah. Of course, sad. Uh, Brad, he came over from uh, Lockleys as well. I think they've settled quite well into uh, West Lakes. Certainly have. Good bowl from Phil. Not a bad start from everyone. You've got six bowls all within a mat length of the kitty. I think everyone's enjoying the pace of the greens, that's I for sure. I think so. Just needs a run on from Curry. Great line. Oh, beautiful line, Curry. Too far away here. Just needs to drop just slightly through the gap. Very good. See if Preston can join the pack here. Most of these um, guys are bowling with arrows or XGs. Preston's, he's got uh, red lines. Very nice wave from Preston. Maybe a fairly handy home out there. I think so. Playing the forehand, probably playing, looking at playing a little bit of weight through the head. Good thing he's got another one. <laughs> on the back end again. Just needs a little wider. 
Some other weight. It's got a pretty good bowl here. Be handy where that finishes too, David. Take this a bit tighter, Jack. And to drop the weight a little bit too. Oh, really good ball. Very good head. Plenty of close bowls. Most bowls probably three feet away. Mm. So I don't know, everyone's on their game early. They certainly are. on his back end. Just coming across just slightly. Wait, very good. good. Probably blocks marks shot off a bit. It's going to be a bit crowded on the forehand. And does it happen you think you're going to call the shot and they play the opposite hand and they see something completely different yeah makes it interesting and congratulations to mark too he's uh, welcomed a new baby girl isabella she's six months old now so he's got his hands full and sure congratulations does. to erin as well the little sister for annabelle i think Forehand. Just a fraction wide. on the backhand again just looking at coming in off those outside blue balls I think it's pretty close here a little bit more interested in this one it's played this very nicely indeed grey bowl oh great bowl fabulous bowl Josh just makes that target a little bit wider if Mark wants to change Anyone can do it, Mark can do it. Yeah, He's no. a very accomplished bowler, many so. titles to his name, state player, played over 350 games, Super League player, BPL player, the list goes on and on. <laughs> so Jack scored him on the forehand, they're looking at hitting the edge of one of the bowls. Plays this right, may get rid of all three bowls. On its way. Two shots to Somerton. So Somerton have got off to a hot start over on the uh, Jeff Adworth, Jamie, Jimmy Gregory's ring. Somerton are up five zip. Early days. Had a big change around this year from last year's because they uh, some of them are back to back, and a uh, bit of a change around this year. We've had, of course, players coming and going, and as all sides do, but we've actually got six new players.
come into this side this year. So that's a that's a lot of new players. Another solid start from Linton Modra. Yeah. Great start, Linton. Puts the early pressure on Westlake straight away when you lead does that with their first bolt. Sure does. That's where it comes from, isn't it? it certainly from is. From the front. Linton's been playing for many years, over 30 years. Makes him sound old because he is. I'll let you do all the sledging. Okay, okay. Linton. <laughs> Again, another great ball. But he's still a very good bowler. Move just needs to correct by about five feet. Looking pretty good with this one. Line's pretty good too. Yep. Oh, great effort. in the area here, just liking it. Lovely ball from Curry. one it's in the area again maybe just a fraction wider this time right pretty good feels filled in for them a few times in this top side who's uh, come from the Div 3 so and I said he got the call up to fill in for, for Dan Matthews building up on Jack. Just drops in. So I said Preston's new to the club this year. He come from Wollonga and uh, he's had a great year this year. He, he um, came runner up in the club singles this year so it was a great effort. Jack got here. Oh, it is very good. Yes. It's a very good bowl. Yeah. Great bowl, Jack. Well done. Probably third wood. And Preston actually uh, teamed up against another newbie to the club this year, Dan Greenslade. And Dan and Preston had a fantastic singles game and, and Dan actually come out on top of that, so... But it was a good game between the both of them, so congratulations to both boys. 
Nice to see some new blood come in and win some things. Just in the area again. He looks really good here. That's a fabulous bowl, Preston. Well done. Mark's asked for a little bit more weight here from Jack. Try and break things up a bit. Possibly move Kitty to the back. Just a fraction wide. start from the Summerton team on this rink. Pressure basically from the gecko. Yes, we always talk about the leads and twos, don't we? Getting off to a good start. Very, so very important. It is extremely important. Josh, we're looking at getting something towards the back. Back, yeah. Help, help. I think that'll change Mark's shot too much. Tying oh. it up. I think he likes it. Down on his knee, that means he does like it. Oh, oh just a bit unlucky. Would have been all over it. Yeah. May have knocked their closest bowl out a little bit too, which might have increased. Number of shots being held. Yeah, I think it's probably three. Yeah, I think Josh may look at going towards the back. That's what Preston's pointing out, that if Kitty does go back, they do drop. Mm, good drop a number, wouldn't they? Yeah. Josh changes his hand here, comes on the forehand. <laughs> Playing it towards the back. It's played a pretty handy bowl here. If it gets around the white. short. Where Slakes have just picked up two shots on uh, the rink over there with uh, James Gregory, Matthew Hull, Benjamin Rice and Prue Gurgan. Big shot here for Mark. And get on the board as quickly as possible. Probably down three shots on this end. So try and change the momentum of the game a bit. Sometimes it just takes that one ball, doesn't it? It does. <coughs> it's, it's fairly ah! hard. He's got Let's it. take it. <coughs> oh, a bit unlucky. Oh. City. Great ball, Mark. Back yellow bowl and came back. That was a perfect bowl. So still might be down two or three. Unlucky. Alright, they got the shot. Oh, well done. Brilliant bowl for Mark. Actually Haynes. deserved the shot, didn't it, with yeah. a bowl like that. So yeah. <laughs> well done, Mark. Okay. Was looking at three or four. So they're on the board.
we've gone to a almost T to T, Ooh. full length. Might be a bit of a tactic from the Westlake team. Pretty handy start here from Liv. Yeah, it's really good. Three feet behind. Of course, Liv's bowling with an arrow, size three. Linton in the area again. He had a couple of goodies last time he came down this way. He's pulling a bit short with that one. Mine's perfect. Mm. Didn't make Liv change her hand, so. Again, pretty handy bowl here from Liv. Gets around Linton's front bowl. Maybe just into it. Unlucky. His own, so. Cool. Changing hands, playing his forehand, being a lefty. I think that extra length has uh, thrown him a few. Yeah. Backhand. The other side's pretty much blocked off now. Yeah. Curry again, probably a little fraction short here too. like a better bowl from Phil. Yeah, it's a good one here coming in, Phil. Yeah, very good bowl. Yeah, couple up to Westlakes. The sense eye strikes again. Curry's got a bit more on this one. Handy correction here from Curry. Yeah, probably second wood. Jack High. Jack, great line. Probably needs three feet. Good one here from Preston. Just going to go into that little pack again. Yeah. That three foot mark. Yeah, Jack's in the area here. Drops down nicely onto the blue. The 
little glidey. Yeah. Yep. Well done, Jack. Ball on his weight here from Preston. Line is brilliant. Not going to be short with this one. Yeah, very good, Preston. Yeah. Second wood. Quality of the greens allowing the players to correct very easily. Everyone's first bowl was that three foot short and they were able to play through. Just a little bit extra. Yeah, you don't have to put too much more on it, do you? No. Just a big thank you to uh, the Modbury Bowling Club for hosting us today. Beautiful conditions, beautiful greens. Having a lot of spectators out. Probably build up through the day. People finish with church and other bits and bobs they have to do. Put a bit extra on this one. Just hasn't taken it wide enough. Yeah. I might change Josh's shot yeah, here a little just bit. Got in his way. Might be able to use that. Might play a little bit more weight off the ball that's come across and look for the edge to take the blue shot out. You look right across the rinks, David. The heads are really, really tight, aren't they? Yeah. As you would expect at this level. Yeah, grand final day. Yes. Trotman's just played a big shot over on rank three. Yeah, I think there were a couple down over there and he's just played a bomb. Make Scooter come down and have a, yeah, just have a look at what's going on. Thought Josh has played a little bit more weight, oh, just right. leaving him a bit. Possibly may have given away a second shot. We're slates another couple. Just going to go and move across to rink one. Um, Jeff Aworth, Jimmy Gregory rink.
got Cole. Cole Davies on the mat for Jeff Hayworth. That's another newbie to uh, Summerton this year. He's come from the uh, Holfast Bay Bowling Club. Pretty good opener there in his second bowl. Prue and Cole will have a good battle all day between the leads. It's a handy bowl from Prue. Well, she's a very accomplished bowler too. She was in the state side for many years. And Simon Burke coming down. So in that ring we've got two new ones that weren't in it last year, Cole Davis and Simon Burke. Burke has just gone to the back and it's just dropped in. If I remember rightly, Simon's son played in the winning team last year. He did, yes. Dylan. Or as affectionately we call him, Pickle. Come on, Benny. <laughs> He's only a young bowler. He's got a lot of potential, young Dylan. Good, mate. Good. And Benny Rice, he's uh, new to West Lakes this year. He's come from... Town. Yeah, no, Benny very well. Yep. Good fella, Benny. Yeah. Lovely guy. Good correction here from Simon. Still travelling on yeah. a bit. The breeze has just picked up here slightly. Yeah, it's sort of just coming from behind, isn't it? Yeah. Making those bowls roll on a little. Special congratulations to Edwardstown yesterday on picking up a pennant um, in Div 3. I think they've been in there for five or six years in the finals and finally got a grand final win. Congrats, boys and girls. Great ball, Ben. Yes, I've certainly been stuck in Div 3 for a while, so that was a, a relief for them, I think. David Off coming down. He's been in the Premier League for a number of years now. Very steady bowler. And once again, a very quiet but lovely guy. Yeah. Just one that lets his bowls do all the talking, I think. As you just witnessed right there. Absolutely. Great start, David. Probably Matt Hull's just the opposite. He's pretty noisy on the green. I think most people know when Matty Hull's playing. Oh, hello, can, yes. <laughs> definitely can hear him. He's had a sensational year this year. He just uh, this week picked up the singles title at Westlakes. He did. Do you know how long he's been going for a state t um, a singles title? 28 years, he told me. 28 years and he's finally got one. So well done, Matty. Yeah, he had to play against Isaac, so that would have been a rip-roaring game, he said. Yeah. There's a handy ball there. Ify coming down with his next one. Oh, he's just let that go. Yeah. Uh, Not as good as his first. No. So, no, Matty was very happy with his uh, club singles. It's pretty tight. That was 16 all, 19 all. And but he held his nerve and finally got it after 28 years. So, well done. It's 
liking this one. Yeah. I'll start talking to it shortly. <laughs> That's a lovely ball. Jeff Aworth coming down, affectionately known as Watto. Very experienced bowler. Oh, fabulous. And someone else who lets his bowls do the talking generally. Absolutely. You don't hear much from him. No, you don't. Far off here, David. That's a lovely bowl, Watto. Well done. Got James Gregory coming to the mat. One of the experienced skip does all the green. Well, it does a lot of the greens in the. The Adelaide area. Oh. Doesn't mind having a bit of a drive every now and again either. Jeff will just maybe come around the back and cover those cover those couple of bowls at the back there or Yeah, I think so. I think that was the I don't think we want to fatten that head up anymore, would no, we? No, no, he's holding two, I think definitely there's three shots behind against. So I think somewhere between the jack and those three bowls would be almost the perfect posse. Here. It's coming around nicely. Pretty handy there. Yeah. James will probably play the same ball, won't he? Yeah, yeah he's got a third and fourth wood, yeah. so chance of clearing both of those out. Mm. Better long. Oh. <laughs> And the two. Yeah, picked up a couple there. Just going to switch over to another rink now. Two of the young guns. Nathan Pedersen against Isaac. Trenorden. I think most people out there know Nathan Pedersen. Well, it's an amazing record for such a young bowler. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? State titles, Australian titles, you name it. Yeah. Zach's part of the Bowls SA, runs all the tournaments. And yeah, it does a great job there. Oh. Let's improve things. Yeah. It's like this green and white labelled them. Oh. Nathan. 
Playing with a bit of weight, he's not too it. far away here. He's got yeah, the ball. He's got the ball. Great ball, Nathan. Never far away. Discussion here and what sort of yes. shot to play. Trying to pick up a number. It's just a straight out draw, I would have thought. Fairly open. Unless he's looking to move that jack over to the right of screen. To We've got a few sitting out there, haven't they? Yeah. yeah he's playing with Wayne. Mm. Uh, Pedro's got last bowl too, which gives Nathan a, a bit of a free shot. Combos between your third and skips are mighty crucial, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. these two work very well together. Yeah. And as I said, Dan's only new to the club this year, but he's fitted in so well, and I think he learns a lot from Nathan, and I think Nathan's got a lot of respect for, for Dan as well, so... We got... Good combo. Yeah, we got Nathan's and um, Dan's ring twice during the year, and really enjoyed their combination. Yeah. Even I was in the opposition. <laughs> yeah. oh, so there's a fair few here. Which looking at three taken out, measuring for four. That was an interesting shot from Isaac. Yeah. On the screen, it looked like there was a lot of room to just draw in. Yeah. Mm. But of course, we see it differently than what they do. So. Yeah. up three. Tony Lucas on the mat. Credentials that Tony has. Still currently the state uh, ladies coach. Does a good job with the ladies. He does. Be a tough gig. Very tough, yes. And I must congratulate uh, Tony and Steve Dennis. They just won the club pairs against Nathan and Scotty Koval, who have actually won it for six years in a row. Would you wow. believe? So, okay. And, uh, yeah. Deno didn't play this year for us. He's having a year off with yeah. our family and things like that. I think it was the third time he's picked up a bowl in the whole season. And uh, he played an outstanding game. It was just incredible to watch. A fair bit of natural talent. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, it, was a, it was a good game all round, so... They knocked off the reigning champions, as I said, six years in a row, though, so guys have won it, so well done. Oh, just a bit, a little, little wide there. Roy 
has been with West Lakes for a number of years. Been bowling forever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. played, a few f played a few games against and with Roy over, yeah. over the years. <coughs> very steady bowler. Cricks very well. I think he's done over 455 games with Lakes and it's a mighty effort. Yeah. Else with a bit of coaching out that way too. Yeah. We've got Jeff Hayworth coming down with his bowl. Just, oh. Just ran through. Bit unlucky, a bit mm. lucky. Yes, whatever side you want. Lucky or unlucky. with a bit more weight. It's pretty close here. Close with this one. Oh. James and Holly having a bit of a Discussion over it. A <laughs> uh, little bit of by play on rink four. <laughs> Mark had a bit of luck and then not so much, but uh, just picked up, oh. which may have affected it a little bit. Pick up the one. Shot. Yeah, just the one. Moving him along. It's 8-3 to Jeff Averworth's ring. Just tightening up a little bit here. Mm. Across the rinks, we've got uh, Josh Studham versus uh, Keynes. 5 3 to Josh Studham. Got Taylor versus Josh Joplin. Scott leaves that one 6 5. And Ed Pedersen's rink leads 7 4. Over Isaac Trenorden. Cole's yeah. looking pretty close. We're uh, watching at the moment. It's Jeff Aworth leaving 8-3, I think, over James Gregory. Just hasn't put up the score yet. Andy here coming in from Crew. Handy goal. I think they just shorten that length up a little bit. They just move that mat up just a tad to shorten it up a smidge. Benny. 
finished just behind, so always handy bowls behind. like a good line out there, Simon. It's going to duck across. Oh, wait, very nice. Yeah. It's just picking up a little bit, which is affecting everyone's bowls just slightly. Just have to make that correction. It's gone from being behind the players to across the players at the moment. Yeah, it's a little bit swirly, isn't it? It's been thrown out nice and wide. You've got that weight to come in. Oh. Pretty close from Simon. Great line in. Just hanging out there. All the weight, I think, from up the way there. Again, David's just been caught out by the breeze a little bit. Maddie got this time. Pretty good I area he here from Matt. Better, yeah. Start talking to it shortly. That little glide. It's worked a treat. David got sneaked in. Going to make a special uh, shout out to uh, one Jeff Ellis who played his last game, well, so he says, after mm -hmm. 48 years um, at Lockley's Bowling Club. Went out a winner, winning uh, Div 4 pennant. He said, I'm going to owe my wife some time. Uh -huh. So, a big shout out to Jeff. Yeah, congratulations, Jeff. Well done. Oh, it's a long time, isn't it? 48 years. It certainly is. Jeez. Time to do some travelling. Uh, maybe in the garden. <laughs> Just taking his time, lining it up. Awesome, Come on, hit the right one. 
Finds the gap between the two. Oh, he just gets a little rub. Yeah, yeah that'll do yes, the job. That's done the job. I don't think Jimmy will want to leave that there, though. Yeah, there's a nice <laughs> little area. Oh, he's calling for him to play through it. Mm. Asking for decent weight. And I've got that back ball, too. So. Yeah. It's pretty close here. Oh. Just a smidgen wide. And Jeff had another. My time's playing against Jeff. This is where he's very good. It's like a good track coming in here. Pick up the single. Just a big uh, scoreboard update. We've got Summerton on 28, Westlake's 14 after 22 ends. So we just flicked over to rink four and Mark Haynes' is rink. Looks like he's holding a shot at least. Probably just the one. Had a dead end from rink three. Yeah, Josh, Josh. just knocked it out of bounds. So yeah, just dropping. Has not missed too many today? No. So that's the second one I've seen him hit. So in good form. And I'll go back down the end they started and do it all again. Westlake's definitely got the one shot. Let's see if Mark's able to add to it. Pretty good weight. Pick up for Westlake's. Stick with that longish end, I think. Right. Just going over to the rink three, the Josh Job and Scotty Taylor rink. Karen Gatto on the mat. Very experienced bowler. Yes. She's a current over 60s pairs. And champion and champion pairs. She's got previous state triples to her name. State fours, club pairs, singles. The list goes on. Yeah. And actually, it's a very special day for Kaz today. It's a birthday girl. Ah, happy birthday. So, happy birthday, beautiful lady. And what a day to celebrate your birthday. Playing in a grand final as well. Okay. 
Paul Davies on the mat. Yes. Affectionately known at Somerton as Curly. And I found out it's not because he doesn't have any hair. Ah. It's because uh, he was uh, in the police force over in New South Wales. And uh, there was three of them who were very good mates. So, of course, they were the three stooges. Yep. And he got Curly. Okay. So <laughs> but he's a, another lovely guy. Very quiet. But it's uh, fitted into Somerton really, really well. Really lovely guy. We got Jackie Field on the mat. Again, very Jackie. experienced player. That's a lovely ball, Jackie. Steve Foster, he's our fill in for, for Luke, who's ill. Caught up at the last minute this morning, very ill, so. Tapped Steve on the shoulder and in he came. So looks like he's playing a very steady game. Yeah, I've been watching a few ends from. <laughs> yeah. Bozzy, affectionately known boy. Yeah. Jackie looks like she's in the area again. Not too far away. Yeah. Rolls her over bowl once or made Fozzie's. Oh. Steve. Might even be better. Oh. <coughs> Those two ladies on screen, they uh, usually pair up in the state events and go quite deep in the state events, so, and they've uh, been very successful. Brad heading down to the mat. Quite a handy bowler there, David, isn't he? Certainly is. Yeah, very steady. I won't call him by his self-proclaimed nickname. Oh, you have to tell me now. What is it? No. <laughs> I only know him as BJ, so yeah. there's something more to it. <laughs> yeah, known as the Whisperer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bowls Whisperer. Bowls Whisperer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not too sure about that one, but like I said, self proclaimed. <laughs> We've got Scotty Koval here. Just through. He's moved into that third position because uh, Fozzie came in into the into the position as number two. So yeah, always tough when you're matching oh, up yeah. against Summerton and you see Scotty playing two. Yes, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> shows how strong some of the sides are. Yep, a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely bowl, BJ. Must have whispered to that one. Yeah. It's going to be playing a drive. He's Pretty close here. Off here. Oh, he's found the gap and missed the giddy. like it was going to be right on track. Show that again. Wow. Oh. 
Oh, coat of paint. Was. What's Choppy going to do? It's a nice draw to add another. Yeah, pretty much just needs to hit the front couple. Just a little short. Taylor lining up, officially known as Scooter. In the area here, very close. Oh, very close. Oh, it's just rolled the white one over. Mm. Just the one to West Lakes now. He changes Choppy's hand here. A bit dangerous playing the forehand. to congratulate uh, Joshi, who's just become engaged to Ella. So congratulations to the happy couple. Yeah, congratulations. Hope she likes bowls. Just hope they don't get married in bowl season. <laughs> I reckon Scott will just be trying to play a little fraction more on his last. Try and turn his bowl over or just beat it. Makes it all square on six all on this yeah, ring. Six all after seven ends. <laughs> so we've got Josh Statham leading seven four. Six all on the ring. Okay. No. Simon playing his forehand. Just going to run through a tad. Won't go astray at the back of the ring, that's for sure. Just to make that adjustment ever so slightly there. Mm. All over corrected. Easy to do, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much on the quick range, that's no. for sure. 
couple of centimeters either way and you you're gone. A little bit, a little bit too much. Look at the spot. Couple of feet over. Good wait here from Matt Holt. Just a fraction wide. The mm. weight was awesome. Do you like those bowls, David? You see the rotation on them? Ah, uh, no. no. Not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big fan. Come on, Davey. Taffy's bowl that he just tapped. Fairly open head. It is very open, isn't it? Yeah. Just makes me wonder is it maybe it's sped up just that fraction. Yeah. Well, he's tired this up a bit. He's used his bowl nicely. Jeff probably a little undecided which way to go here. Yeah. He's, he's probably a little slower than normal. He's trying to work out this way of coming. Yeah. Open both sides, but it's just bowls in front of Jack High there. A bit tricky. Fraction strong. Yeah. It's oh, just dropped in. What's Jimmy doing here? He's still going. It's very close, gets around the Oh, it just went into Taffy's bowl. He's going to change over to his backhand this time. It's very close here. I think he's just bowled number one. Yep. yep. Jeff got the shot. I'm sure Jimmy will come up with an answer. Yeah, just a little bit of a niggle at it. Yeah. Oh, doesn't like it. It's just stone out there, isn't it? Uh,
Just having a look at Chris Dew on the mat now in rink two. Moved over from Millswood from last year. Or oh, Westlakes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think he went from Millswood to Westlakes to Summerton. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's fitted in really good with the guys. Very close here, Chris. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant bowl. Lovely bowl, Chris. Just a little short on that one. for a bit more weight. Didn't get it. No. Nathan and Dan having a bit of a discussion. Yeah, they're very good with their tactics. They Nathan, are. plenty of years of experience, plenty of bowling with um, some of Australia's finest bowlers. He's definitely passing on his knowledge. Yeah. He's gained from that. He knows all the angles. If it hits this, the jack's going to go here and we've got to have this covered. And yep. Yeah. Real tactician. happy with that. Yeah. That's where he called Dan with his first bowl. It was going down and I thought, oh, put a bit much, but then you realise that Nathan actually called for that. So, yeah, yeah he's uh, two bowls ahead of everybody else, I think. Yeah. Someone walks in and thinks oh, he's bowled two shockers, but mm. can be used later on. Absolutely. S stops the drive. Was that taking his time lining it up? Looks 
flock is coming in nicely here. Just a fraction just short. A fraction short, yeah. yeah. The line was perfect. It's, uh, puts plenty of pressure. It's like looking for two or three feet. They uh, put it on. It's close here, David. Oh, I battled that one, mate. It's already second wood. Nathan just tightening up his line. His weight was pretty good. He's in the area. He's got the weight. Two. Okay, Summerton picked up a couple on that end. Got a fantastic crowd building up around us, David. Yeah, it's... Uh, all behind you can't see behind us, but just about every seat is taken behind us here as well. Yeah, so no, they're all building up. Yeah, beautiful people coming in, yeah. left, right, and centre. Even so. the family. Oh, my son, beautiful daughter-in-law, have just turned up with our beautiful granddaughter. So back on rink four. Yeah, he's got shot there, so. Carrie coming down. Moment. Westlake's holding the shot. Liv Piper's bowl. Yeah. Oh, good effort from Kari. Westlake's just changed their tactic on uh, on this rink. They've gone from T to T to reasonably short. Yeah, it's just about minimum, isn't it? Yep. So. Yeah. Has tightened up the game. It's 8-5 on 8 ends, so yeah. high quality bowls. Jack just staying out there a bit. Yeah. Got Preston. Been watching him in the last couple of ends. He's bowled some absolute bombs. Oh, he's got it. Oh, there you go. Good it's on song at the moment, the last few ends, Preston. Yep, fabulous. Karen over there just doing a great bowl. Birthday girl. Uh, 
Mark's just calling for a swinger, so it's controlled weight. Just try and disturb the head a bit, break it open. Oh. West leg of Spol and the best back. Just probably someone said just holding one. Mm. I was going to say, you don't want to leave anything uh, jack level, do you? No, <laughs> not only to these guys. No. Just, just asking Preston to just roll over the front blue bowl or just meet this bowl. Mm. Very similar to his first bowl. Everything that one, yeah, a little too strong, a little too wide. <laughs> he did the damage with his first one, that's for sure. He did, it was a perfect ball. Rink one. Cruz leading off. Looks like they've gone with a similar length yeah, to shorten that mat up again. Need to do something just to change it up. Mm. I think they're down 12, 12 five, so just to change the tactics a little bit. Yeah. I think some are enjoying the three quarter to. Long lanes. So I think West Lakes just changed things up a bit. See what Taffy's got here. Pretty handy start, by Colin. This will be far off here, Prue. Uh, good correction from Prue. Yeah, great, great shot, Prue. <laughs> Carl's in pretty good area here. Yep. Yeah. Two handy bowls. Sneaking up on it, just a couple of couple yeah. of rolls. Very good line again. Simon just ma matching Prue's first bowl. Close here. And Here's he's liking it early. Oh, ben. Oh, just a bit unlucky. Yeah. Very good ball.
Simon coming down with the ball. Just missed. Just running through as well. <laughs> Gets around that front one, David. You've got a beauty. Settled into a good home. And just need to take a bit off both. Nice ball here from Matt. Lovely ball. Just turn Prue's over. Yep. that's finished sort of jack high. It's just allowing David just to be a bit more positive. Mm. Something to sit on. Jeff can change things up here. Not far off here. Yeah, just gonna oh, he's played it perfect. Yep, well done, Jeff. And that's Good. Brilliant ball from Jeff Hayworth. David Ives bowl back there, so. Sometimes it's a long walk back to the mat, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you've got a bit of pressure on. Mm. It's now starting to get a bit of scoreboard pressure, something up by, you know, 20 plus shots. Yeah. Jimmy's close here. Oh, great bowl, Jimmy. Very good bowl. There's plenty of room for Watto to draw another one, though. And unfortunately, James is out of bullets. Is that Prue holding shot, the grey bowl, or is it the white one? To me, it looks like Prue's. It's out. Fairly wide. Yeah, you're going to get a 
little glide or not? No, in effect. So See. picked up too. Yep. That's a very good hit. Headed over to rink three with Jackie Fields putting down her second bowl. Her first one was a ripper. Nice and tight this game. Six all after seven ends. So, uh, seen two or three ends being killed by both the skips. Mm. Steve Foster's bowl just coming in. It'll be far off here. Very close. Just rolled out. Second wood. See what the bowl whisperer can do. Down there. <laughs> Just once. Haven't seen Little Buddy today, running around. I think everybody knows who Little Buddy is. Yeah, certainly he does. He must be getting doggy sat somewhere. Yeah. He's a dear little thing, isn't he? Key dog. Important bowl for Brad. Pretty handy line. This weight's pretty good too. It's very good weight. Very good weight. Yep. That's a good bowl. Scott's asked Scott just to just be positive. Mm. Look at his bowl. Look at Brad's last bowl. Staying fraction wide. So they that call that are holding too. Yeah. That's more. Don't want to give it away. So. Mm. Joffy just asked BJ to just change his hand. Mm. I think they're just holding the one. <laughs> it's in the area now, Scotty Cobble. Very close. Fall over. The one Three. down. I think he got the shot with that. Yeah. Mm. Both the skips of one down, one up. Scotty will be happy with that. See what hand just plays. Be changing over to the forehand. There's an element of risk in this, but. Mm. Just looking for Scotty's bowl, isn't he? Yeah, just resting on that. Mm. I almost prefer to be wide than tight. Very good weight. Oh, 
going to come down. Looking very nice. Oh, that's two. Fabulous goal. Same weight, just a little fraction wider. Yeah. I don't think you'll be far off. Oh, what a bowl, Choppy. Great bowl. Be a bit of discussion about this one. And he has to re rinse and repeat his first bowl, doesn't he? Yeah, or depending on how much it's turning on the back end, push that shot bowl out. Mm. Maybe pick up three. Mm. No, he's playing the forehand, so. Yep. He's playing with weight, though. Oh. Okay. Made a two. It's interesting. Hmm. I would have done the same thing. So what you probably just try and draw. He played a beautiful ball the first time. Yeah, that was a surprise. Okay. So West Lakes eight six on this one. Up to Kaz to get him off to a good start again. Steady delivery, Kaz has. <laughs> Lovely start, just sitting behind. <laughs> what Curly can do. You'd like the colour of his bowls, David? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah happy yeah. with the Swannies win? Oh, yeah, very yeah. happy. Yeah. Always makes it for a better weekend. It does. It was a good game, though. From Karen. Drop right behind. Lovely bowl, Karen. Does Phil Westlakes need to make a big push here? Yeah. Well, they've gone to that nice, comfortable length again, so. See if Curly can grab it. Pretty handy. Oh, we've got it, but not enough of it. Jackie Field on the map. This is a little strong from Jackie. Yeah. What 
Fozzie can do here. Fairly handy position here. Might just draw a shot here. Yeah. Very nice bowl. Yes. Pretty handy replacement. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's a big thing just to get that phone call in the morning and say, hey, you ought to step up and uh, play a grand final today, buddy. Uh, plenty of years' experience, though, in bowls. Yeah. Pretty handy again. Jesus. Gets his own bowl. Yeah, oh, very nice. Two lovely bowls, was he? Brad's been down there having a good look at what's going on, so. That's exactly what he wants to do here. Very steady with his delivery again. See if Brad can use his own here to fall in. It doesn't need much correction. No. First one was pretty good. What sort of bowls he's using? Is it Taylor? SRVs? This looks very good, BJ. This looks a lovely bowl, BJ. Awesome bowl. Well done. He's very, very close here. He's got nice it. Nice reply. That's an awesome ball. And the thirds are having a great tussle. Yeah, no, this is really good tussle. Definitely, from what I can see, the best match going on at the moment. There's changes happening all the time. Yeah, it's the closest by far, isn't it? Early on in the in the match, there's been very few numbers. It's all been ones and twos right across the board. Yeah. Um, West Lakes gets a number somewhere along the line. You'll hear the noise pick up. Well, they've been a little bit quiet, haven't they? 
Less legs. Oh, I think, I think because it's been so tight. Yeah, yeah. Because there hasn't been the numbers or anything like that. There hasn't been the, you know, you know when we played, Lockleys were looking at the three pluses and there's been very little of those. You know, you mm. look at the score after how many ends and it's, you know. Yep. Only one or two shots. If Scooter can add to this. Make contact. Thank you, boss. <laughs> Are you going to share that Kit Kat? Oh, no choice now. <laughs> Robin just delivered a drink and a Kit Kat to us. Thank you, Robin. David, better half. Not better. David's better half. <laughs> Big bowl here from Josh. Josh yeah. Looks a little wide. It's got one more chance to add. We could tie it up again. Handy position here, all on his way. Should come down nicely. Just on the outside. Eight all again. Yeah. All tied up. After nine ends, that's that's mm. tight bowls. Very tight. First time I've heard that today. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's pretty tense at the moment. It's yeah. Go either way, even though it's 20 shots in it. It's but Summerton aren't really giving Westlakes a look in at the moment. No. With his first ball here. Any time the Westlakes think they've got an opportunity, Summerton snuff it out pretty quick. Yeah. Start. Mm. Paul can make a correction with this one. Looks a bit of speed. Don't be far off. Okay. Oh, 
lovely ball, Karen. Very steady. Karen's affectionately known as Kaz or Kaza. All got their nicknames. Jackie's bowl coming down, Jackie Field. Her nickname Jax. Or maybe we like to call her the Merry Widow Seeking Companionship. No comment on that, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> you organise her dates, matchmaking? I will. <gasps> Pretty handy line here from Steve. Scotty's liking it. That's looking very nice, Fozzie. Yeah, lovely. Ball. Jack's bowl coming down. She's not far off here. That is a very good response. Fabulous bowl, Jackie. Really good. here for Scotty. Just going to get around that front one. Yes. Oh, very close. Brad. with his last bowl. Speed looks good. It's looking very good. Yeah, very good, good bowl. Very good bowl. The Swiss Lakes have had some really good um, grand finals over the years. They won three in a row back in 16, 17, 17, 18. 
1819, three in a row. So, and then of course we had the dreaded COVID year, which um, nobody really done anything in that year. No. So yeah, and now they're back here in 23-24. So we've had a lot of success as a club. They're actually in the grand final in 2021 too, but unfortunately they lost that one. So been pretty consistent. Very consistent. Always up there. Yeah. It's just a little shy for Scooter. Good nucleus of yeah. That eight to ten players always been there. Mm. Mm. Build your side around that. And the age group is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot to build from for, yeah. for years to come as well. Yeah. Both the scoops just having a bit of. Yeah. With white. <laughs> oh, lost that one. Thank you. Got looking for about three feet, three to four feet. And liking the area. Just needs to roll on a fraction more. Oh, just shy. Be interesting if just plays a little bit more weight this time. It's worth. Got Fozzie's ball just behind, so it's yeah. you just need to sit on that, don't you? Or just knock it through. Mm -hmm. Second and third woods, so mm. he is going hard. Yep. Oh, very close. A smidgen. Summerton with one. and just seem to have all the answers at the moment. Yeah. Start here from Curly. Lovely start. Karen's got the answer to it. Yeah, it certainly does. Right, great ball, Karen. Turn a little 
little fraction more. Oh. Wait, that's wait. lovely. Yeah. Well, Karen's got the answer here. We're just going across. Just cutting across. Fraction strong. Good line though. Yeah. That little bit of breeze coming up again too, a little bit stronger. Yes, yeah, changed direction slightly. Mm. Coming from behind us, going across, green away from the synthetic the undercover greens. Oh, Jackie can land this one. couple out of it. Good bowl. Move that jack around. Got the weight for it. Run on a smidge. Brad can work his magic here. Pretty close. Nice home. Oh, beautiful line. Lining up again. Well, far off with his first. Yeah, might have left this one at home, I think. Oh.
Party lining up. Choppy on the on the mat. Looking after trying to remove the shot bolt. the count just put that extra pressure on Josh very close here just looking at cool he's got two seconds go it again just the one again summons an each be clear at 10 eight after 11 ends and just edging their way clear again 22 shots in it look at this gap pretty much the whole time since the early stages of the game over to ring four Mark Haynes Josh Statham ring apparently Josh leads 15-8 it's been a very good exhibition of lead bowlings both by Linton and Liv here Solid today. In the area again, very good home. So just needs to make sure he's passed here. Does the job. No shot ball. Josh 
liking this. Curry's definitely in the area here. Ooh, very close. Phil Wilkett knowing something similar to his last bolt. Stays up, it'd be alright. Not going to stay up. And just looking for a slight movement on the shot bolt. Try and get Kitty out of the area. Just asking person to change hands, just try and correct it. Egg on the shot pole. Just a light tap on the shot pole, just to get Kitty over to Sumpton's two bowls. It's a pretty good area here. Very good home. See what Josh is going to try and do. Just a light touch on that front blue bowl. Kitty will spring just slightly. As it go to Preston's at the back in the orange, or just uh, the blue and white of Linton's. with a bit more weight than I thought. A bit surprised with that shot. Thought he might have would have just reaching weight. What's been happening, David, while I've been away? Yeah, very interesting. There's um, Scotty Taylor's holding four 
with his first bowl on the mat. Not a lot of room to work with. Uh, Kitty's a, uh, about 30 centimetres off the ditch. Slight change. So Westlake's for holding shot um, with blue. Summerton's had second wood. Need to try and get rid of Linton's bowl, which has moved around. Just now they've it. sort of got two. They've now got Westlake's have now got a catcher back left, which makes it interesting. Mm -hmm. Getting the old, oldest guy on the ring to have a look who's closest. Oh, don't ask him. <laughs> he doesn't wear glasses for looks. Actually, surprisingly accurate, really. <laughs> I'm very hard on him, aren't I? Uh, he's, he's pretty good when it comes to looking at, you know, he'll, he'll just take two seconds and go, yeah, you got shot or I've got shot or. I think it might be a bit more conservative here from Josh. Can't see him, can't see him playing with big ball. Just taking his time. Hand again, though. Yeah. Same hand as before. It's in the area. And Josh Joplin has just bowled an absolute bomb. Four down or one up. Was on rink three, so that was a great save for them. Yeah, really good save. It's a nine ten on their rink now over there. Not much is happening. No. Looks like they might finish half an hour behind everyone else too. <laughs> Big ball here for Mark. Staring it down. He likes it. He's just going to cut across. Okay. <laughs> Looks like there might be an umpire's job here. Yeah, yep. umpire. Ah, oh, it's been go. pretty quiet today. Guys have sort of sounded it out themselves. Yeah. Swap over to rink three while we wait for the umpire on four. Do you have a pre mat routine, David? Get it close. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> nah, pretty casual. So do you have any superstitions? No, no superstitions. No superstitions. So, no. so no going to Mr. Lee's for your lunch every Saturday morning. Oh, the or great brunch. Mr. Lee's best mm. food for me is bar me roll in Adelaide. Um, I heard that's what you do every week. It's what I do every week, but it's not a biggie if I don't go. That's a routine, a bit of a superstition. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably Robin says that I have a routine, but mm -hmm. I don't don't purposely do a routine or anything like okay. that. So. Yeah. So don't wear your lucky undies or anything? No. No, no. no. Just whatever she's washed for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would it? Yeah. No. <laughs> How about yourself? No, I don't have any. No, no. Although I do like to have the same, you know, undies maybe. Washed, of course. Of course. <laughs> It'd be tough if you played four days run, running, though. Like didn't WA or... Oh, no, that was that was tough. That was tough, yeah. Is that a hassle, seeing that? No. Because they can see all four now. Because, again, it's just one at a time. 
Yeah, that's good. Au revoir. Yeah, no, that was a big day over at WA, so started about 7.30 in the morning. The last game was about 7 o'clock at night. Yeah. So, yeah. Always fun those days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jackie running through with that one. Steve coming down with another goodie. It's not far off. Oh. It's a little bit open, plenty of room to draw in there, David. Yeah. Good shot from Brad. an opportunity here for Westlake's holding a couple of shots. Yeah, they are. One of their rinks needs to pick up a number somewhere along the line just mm. to change. If Brad just knocks this over, they could get a handy four. Chasing this one up. Does he like it? He's telling it to hurry. It's close. Mm. Might have just cut it down. Yeah. So what are you playing tonight, David? What you got on? Last, last round of Super Challenge, or second last round if okay. Super Challenge, so trip out to Henley. Okay. Gold are playing at Lockleys. Nice. Where are you guys on the ladder? Uh, we won't see finals. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Choppy close here. He's just going to run through. Andy? Yeah. Interesting to see who's holding shot. Well, from this angle, it sort of looks like their West Lakes are holding a few. Really? Maybe just a roll. In the area here. If he knocks Scotty up. Okay. Yeah. That makes a difference. It does. Again, that only allows Westlake's the one, mm. one shot. Mm. They almost need to generate multiple Multiples somewhere. now, yeah.
nice line this here. This liking this. Yeah. Just might just cut across oh. there. Oh, I still got it. Scotty says I still got it. Very telling. There you go. Okay. Two or three there. Two. All of a sudden, they're uh, holding. Summerton are holding probably four or five on on rink four. Mm. <laughs> Westlake just can't. Nathan lining up on the mat. Nathan just got the jack. Some of them are holding down. about four. All right. Hasn't changed anything. This. Unfortunately, it could be a number for Summerton. Just needs to be it's very close. It's a lovely weight coming in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two. In doubt, get down and measure. Yep. This is right. Ball for Isaac here. Yeah, they might be down a few. No, it's not liking it. Uh, might be a little bit heavy. Maybe two or three there. Yeah, Summerton have just broken the shackles.
regards to the numbers. Definitely picked up four. Mm. Four. Yeah. So that's a three and a four, and for uh, wanting those wanting a close game, not to the team for that to happen. So Summerton picked up seven shots in the last couple of vans and have. Opened it right up now. coming down with his first ball. Tony just running three with his second ball there. Just waiting someone behind the head to keep still. Sure. Either way, mate. As close as you can. Look what Robbo's got here. Robbo. Well played, Robbo. It's a pretty handy ball. Yeah, lovely ball. Shot number one. Well done, Chris. Just 
running through your way. And clear the front ball. Just into Chris's anyway. Smithy coming in. Just a couple of feet. I think the cameraman's causing a few issues. Yes. He's moving around behind the head, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Here again, mm. oh, is it might have given it away. Yeah, maybe. Got to play there, mate. Just same sort of shot, but you can add. You can probably add six B. You know, take it up through that. Get a touch. Another one back here for you. Asking for that little bit of extra weight. Yeah. Just through the gap. How's the Wednesday going for Lockley's Day? Have you got any teams left in the Wednesday mm, men's comp? No. No? Nope. No, I think uh, our season is done. Okay. Yeah. So it's always a bit strange that Wednesday f and even Thursday's finishing after Saturday. Exactly. You think it's all finished and you go, oh, no. <laughs> but there's more. Yes. We've got our second side ladies playing in their grand final on Thursday. So they've done very well this year. They came up from Div 3. They won their grand final last year to Div 2 and in the grand final. So. But they can't go anywhere? They can't go anywhere because uh, yeah. we didn't win our grand final. So. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Club yeah. strong enough, and you can have two teams in. Yeah, yeah. But that's an argument for another day. It is. It is. Yes. Yep. We blew our chance. La we blew our chance last Thursday to go in. So. Best of luck to everybody that's still in it, Wednesday and Thursdays. The weather's going to be good for it. I think so. It's supposed yeah. to be nice and warm again, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
And a shout out for the Adelaide Masters on over next weekend as well. Yes, it's a big weekend, isn't it? All the stars come across. Yeah. Well, we'll watch some good bowls head out to Adelaide. Yeah. Scotty will have the greens up and running, I'm sure. Always get a huge crowd there over the weekend, don't they? They certainly do. It's a great weekend. Pedo's got in store. Yeah. It's pretty close it's on here. On its way, isn't it? Just run through. Well, I'll take a free hit if you can land it in there for two. Oh, on its way. Yeah, just, just gonna hold. Just sit on that one. Big quite well, more mm -hmm. just fallen out. Out with the tape again. Stretch it out. Got to do something different. Yeah. We've always taken that mat back a bit. Yeah. Oh, it's happening on Jeff's rink. It's got to find some numbers from somewhere. Yeah. Prue's coming down with their second bowl. Still got a good crowd out here watching. Thanks again to the Modbury Bowling Club for hosting today. Hospitality is lovely. They do a great job out here. They do. They've got that wonderful bowl shop now. It's always Little tempting. Second home. <laughs> it's always tempting. <laughs> Got the shot. Yeah, yeah lovely bolt, Ben. Simon coming in. Sure. The great line. Fortunately, Taffy's bowl was in in the road. Yes.
David just going to swing across. Inside, Benny, mate. Come on. Take it out. Matty got his looking nice coming yeah. in. Very nicely yeah. done. That's a lovely ball, Matty. Second ball on its way. Oh, you want to give it a kick. <laughs> you just want to pick him up and have him again, don't you? <laughs> yeah, sometimes he comes up a bit too quick. He starts chasing, but... Mm -hmm. I've got another dead end here. Chop and drink. Mm -hmm. They could finish. I was going to say, how many is that they've had? Uh, <laughs> well, they've still got another seven ends to go, so they could be finishing around six. Well, they've got good lights here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be a bit cool by then. Leave that sun to come back. Mm. Yeah, you must be freezing. Jimmy lining up. He's going to scooch across that head too. Last few bowls have all just scooted across the front of the head there. Yeah, the intensity's just dropped off a bit. Mm. See what they can do to build it up a bit. Grab a number.
doesn't like it. It's the first multiple Westlake's picked up for a while on any ring. Uh, just picked up a three by the look of it. Mm -hmm. So. Scooted across to rink three. Bootleg Jacks. Jackie ball. Fields ball coming into pitcher. Bootleg Jacks just behind that front West Lakes ball there. Karen's. Front ball, I think. Yeah, there it is, just there. I thought it was hiding. Just looking to add to that shot ball. It's looking pretty good. Yep. Sits on well that. Done, yep. Handy yeah. ball. Just needs to take it a little bit off. Yeah. Get one in nice and close. Gives good as something to work with. It's pretty close here. Great shot, mate. Looks very good. Yeah. Yep. Brought it back down to one. Second wood, yep. Just come around that front one, Brad. That's a great bowl. Fall over. Yeah. That lovely bowl, Brad. Sure, Scooter won't leave it like that. Here. Well, on his way. Boys look interested. Just needs to bump that one or. Oh. 
Ooh, great try. Yep. Gives him options with his next one, that's for sure. It does. I suppose Josh can't be playing too much because there's two Summerton bowls sitting directly behind there. That's it. And we've got Summerton right at the back as well. So. Yeah. No, even though Skeeter's a couple of down. Although Jackie's is, Jackie's is probably closest to the bank there. But whether the Jack would go that way. It's got to try and add to the count. And yeah. He has got last bowl, so. Makes the gap interesting. Mm. It's not quite as free as it was. No, I was going to say, it probably, probably um, stops Scooter from coming into that now with that bowl there. I think what he may look at doing is trying to play off the inside of the blue bowl. Mm. And, let, mm -hmm. and come on to the kitty and kitty goes back. Uh, yeah. yeah. He goes back to their catches. Mm. Just a fraction of weight. That's turning now. Just a fraction wide. We can remove that Summerton ball, they'd pick up a few. Yeah, I think that's what they're looking at. Yeah. And what's happening in other rinks, whether it's... Not, not too sure it makes any difference. I think they've got to try and pick up a number. If they go down a number, well, so be it. Yeah, but, but they've got to try, don't they? They've so got to try. You're 30, 30, 30 shots, shots down. down. Skipped across to Nathan's rink. 
Dan's coming in. See what Smithy can do here. Yeah. Lovely weight. Dan just wants to make a correction on his second ball. the face of the head. Smithy like this ball. Coming in lovely. Great bowl, Alex Smith. Lovely bowl. around that kid just wants to uh, count and cover don't want to make that head any wider for Nathan to have another go at That just wants this one to, to count. We've got a couple there.
treasure for third wood. Just gone back to Jeff's ring. They're having a good old discussion. I think they're holding a couple there. This ball just coming in. It's like they're holding two with Prue's third wood. James coming in with some nice weight. Just, just a little wide. Coming in. Yep, lovely ball. Jimmy makes contact with this that could go flying. Just hit the front bowl. Boys just having a good look.
Linton Mondra on the mat. Just putting down his second bowl. Pretty close here. Yeah, very nicely done. Two great bowls. Great exhibition of lead bowls from these two today. They're very close as well. Carry on the mat. Back again. Route four. We have a new little guest come in because David has to go off and play Taylor's Cup tonight. So welcome Kath Greenslade. How thanks. you going, Kath? Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. What a fantastic day day out here at Modbury. It's almost like a home game for us being able to come down and, and watch some exceptional bowls today and it has been, it's been outstanding. It has and the crowd's been magnificent, hasn't it? It's just oh. built and built and no one's left. And what a perfect day for it. Couldn't get anything better. A superb green, two teams that are really evenly matched going at it. It's just fantastic. It's it's a credit to everyone out there and it's a credit to to the club putting putting a green like this together and it's it's been outstanding. Yeah, I mean these these two teams, you know, they are so evenly matched over the years as well. You know, Summerton's going back to back today, but they've been in it for the last three years. Mm -hmm. And a couple of years ago, it was Westlake's three in a row. Yes, you know, absolutely. Three in a row. So that's just outstanding. And anyone who plays sport knows how hard it is just to make the four a lot of the time, oh. but to, to maintain that level um, for the three years to, to um, get your three in a row or your back to back and that sort of thing. And especially with a game, a game like bowls, because it's just concentration and it's time and it's commitment. And it is. The, What's awesome out there is the, the camaraderie between all the players. You know, Absolutely. There's, there's a mutual admiration for the shots that are being played and high fives between, you know, players from both sides. Yeah. And, and they're all, all good friends. Like, they play state events with and against each other and, and whatever, and yeah. they, they represent the state in, in teams together, and then they come out and play against each other. Mm. So mm. It's, it's outstanding. It's and as you say, that, um, that camaraderie, you know, just standing on the mat, picking up, the opponent's bowl and handing it to them. It's little things like that, you know, that it's, it's just good to see. Oh, it is, absolutely. Know. And, um, you know, people could, can watch this and, and, and take a, a leaf out of the book of the, the players that are out on the green here today. Mm, mm. Pity it hasn't been a little bit closer because we're so used to hearing the boys from West Lakes up and about and cheering and things like that. Okay. That'd be better down there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's I. And yeah, the um, sting's probably gone out of it a little bit, a little bit now, um, with with Summerton sort of taking control. Yeah. But it doesn't mean the quality of bowls has dropped off at all. There's still plenty of decisions to be made. 
Absolutely. And that's what you see, isn't it? You, you, you see the Westlake guys standing up there, analysing the heads, seeing what they can make. Can they make a number? What could happen? And, you know, there's still a lot of strategy involved, isn't there? It almost gets a bit more technical now because they, we are chasing... They are chasing shots a bit, so mm. it's a matter of, OK, the one and the two aren't going to cut it, so what can we do now to to create the four, create the five, you know? Um, exactly. Get up and about, kill an end if we need to Which and reset. Which this end's just been killed again. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. so it could be a, a long day as the shadows now start to creep out across... Um, Rank four, we might need the lights on soon if, uh, if it <laughs> continues on in this vein. Yep. Yeah. And I suppose it's been extra special for you seeing your lovely son playing out here today. Oh, watching your children play sport, <laughs> isn't it? A nightmare. <laughs> It's okay when it's your spouse. You're not so invested. You can oh, enjoy a drink. I don't know about that. <laughs> but when it's your children playing, you play every single bowl and you feel every you short shot or, or you, you know. Do. I had the pleasure of watching your son win his club singles. Oh. And that was an awesome game. So. Well, I would love to have watched that. But unfortunately, the weather gods played into our hands and our association had a Friday night game for <gasps> the heat. And... <sighs> I was going to call in sick so I could watch that, but um, was told, no, that's not going to happen. Okay. So he certainly <laughs> enjoyed his move to, to Somerton this year. It's a great club. He's felt very, very welcome. And yourself and, and the rest of the players committee and, and club at, at Somerton, he certainly feels like he's at home. So that's thanks very much. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Not coming home any times. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't have thought. I think we've probably lost him to the city, and that's okay. Yeah, that's good for him, isn't it? That's <laughs> Absolutely. Good no, yeah. that's that's where he needs to be, and um, he's certainly enjoying his bowls and the opportunity he's got today to to play in a in a Prem One Grand Final is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. And to play three to Nathan, I mean, you know, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? I don't know. They look, like, they look like two naughty little boys standing out there at the moment, and they probably <laughs> both need a fair smack on the behind at times, but that's okay. They they get on well, and you know, it's um, it's been a great learning experience for Dan. He's been very lucky to, to be able to play with Nathan and, and Tony Lucas too. Yeah. Who's yes. taken Dan under his wing, so I don't think the, the coach will ever, ever die out of Tony. He'll always be a coach first. And he will. And a player, which yep. is absolutely fantastic. So, yep. no, it's good to see. So, see what Josh is going to yeah, play what's, here. What's Josh got in? He's, he's lining up to draw by the looks of things. Yeah. Yep. There's a nice track in there to the jack. They're looking interested. Karen Gatto's looking very interested. I think it's just going to cut a good the weight. Yep, no. Very good weight. They've cheered that in, mm. so that obviously counts. Counts, yeah. Absolutely, and there, 16 ends in in a very tight, tight tussle over there. Three shots in that. Can't remember how many ends I've killed. I think it's about four, oh, I think. Four or five there. <laughs> As I said, they may well be the last rink out here. Everyone else is getting fairly close to finishing. Yeah. You never want to be the last rink out there, I don't think. But anyway. I don't know. I know a few guys that want to be the oh. last out there. You know, every every time we play pen, oh, we'll finish last. And you think, really? Yeah, not for me. No, <laughs> no thanks. That's my worst nightmare. Okay, here we go. And scooters on track. Scooters. Has he got the jack? Scooters yes. got that jack. Yes. Great ball. Yeah. Well done. Yep. Absolutely. Big high fives and high tens. That's a great yep. shot. Well, there's still a little bit of room there for, for Choppy to... And he's good enough to do he it is. too. Absolutely. So he's let that one go. Let's see what the reaction looks like. Not a bad line at all. Just going to duck across. Duck isn't across. It? Yeah, that's an awesome effort. Might be a couple, yes. Two. So that's two yep. to Somerton on their 17th end. OK. 
Okay. What have you got coming up, Kat? Um, we've got Prestige Medley mm -hmm. coming up. On the um, 20th of April. 20th of April, um, being hosted at Playford for the women. Mm -hmm. And I, the men are coming out here to Modbury, yeah. I do believe. So really looking forward to that. Um, and Women's Country Carnival, uh, a highlight for country um, women's bowlers, starts. It's um, a great event, isn't it? Absolutely. Starts Monday week. Um, oh, Tuesday week, so, mon no, Monday week. So looking forward to, to heading down to the city for a week to play on some outstanding greens against yeah. some fantastic bowlers. So quite looking forward to that. Um, and then a few of us are heading up to the AO, mm -hmm. which um, go and find some nice warm weather in, in June, July, when yeah. hopefully it's cold and wet down here. And Don't say that. I'm not going this year. <laughs> oh, well, a lot of the farmers up our area are more than hoping that there's um, a bit of rain about yeah. coming soon. So that's just going to drop a bit short, I think, for Danian. Okay. Close. Might be close, good close. enough for three. Mm. On their second to last end, over on rank two. So you're not packing up your bowls for winter? So no. That's, that's good. <laughs> no, I might need a new set, found a few <laughs> cracks in them. So anyway, <laughs> we'll sort something out. What's this one going? Oh, oh it's just, just crashed on mm. out the front. hear the cheering and then we're streaming the different rings. Yeah, it's, sort of it's looking. very confusing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's all got that sorted now. <laughs> What's Dan going to do here? It he's looks like he's on a it, so really good track. Yeah. That's a really good bowl, Dan. Sit that. Yep. Sit yep. Back good there. Spot. Yep. Beautiful well home. Yep. Pet, I'll be happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And what about you, Lee? What's What have you got coming up? Champions Week? Um, no. Oh, okay. Um, moving along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the Prestige Medal really? is, is probably yeah, yeah, the next, the next one for, for me. So yeah. And that's always a great event. Absolute fantastic event. It is because you get to see all your mates that you don't see during the season and stuff like that. Everyone congregates and has a has a good old time. So. And that's the thing, for country bowlers, we have like the country round robin, yeah. we have country carnival, so all of the regions um, are seeing each other, you know, regularly, mm. whereas we don't, um, other than travelling down for, for Champions Week and the odd state event, we don't really come across too many of mm. our, our metro bowlers, so Prestige Medley is a great opportunity for us to be yeah. able to, to yep. come and catch up and um, and put a few bowls down yeah. and see, see where we're all sitting. So Summerton at the moment with a 78 to 51 shot lead. Plenty of encouragement still out there for all the bowlers, which yes. is fantastic. They'll play it out to the absolute end. Absolutely. Nathan's lining up. Does he ever not bowl with a smile on his face? <laughs> no, he's always, always smiling. <laughs> Never changes, Nathan. No. Is he interested? No, no. he's just going to hang a no. bit wide with that one, but he's had a good look. Mm. So he'll be licking his lips for the next one, I think. Isaac will be keen to to get in here and, and close that gap for his rink. Absolutely. Okay. It doesn't want Isaac's to be, oh, winding up. Okay. He's not going to be short with this one. Oh, and he's missed. Oh, okay. It's a game of millimetres mm. at times. Frustratingly Absolutely. so, or it works in your favour one or the other, mm. but uh, it's certainly a game of millimetres. 
Well, Nathan's Nathan. not chasing this one either, so. No. Come on, Nate. And Tony's clapping it in, so here we go. It looks very good. Yes, Nathan. Good bowl. Yep. Okay. Well done. Good enough for five by the... Mm. Yes, big end. Big end for Summerton. Yep. That's their 20th, so they are potentially on their last end. Yes. And I say potentially... Given the amount of ends that have been killed today, <laughs> it may not be so. You never know what's going to happen, do you? No. So any happenings at Summerton coming up, bowling club? We always have our Dixie Dunbar Day, which is a fantastic tournament run by the club. Yes. Um, you know, the minute you put that sign up, I think it fills up within about six hours. Oh, so, OK. Um, consecutive clubs that, you know, people that come... Each year, mm -hmm. just say, put us in for next book year. Us in. Book us in, book us in, okay. book us in. So, yeah, so it's... Um, it, Very short up after spot. It is, it is, and it's a really well-run event, so... And how, how does that operate? Is that... We usually have that format of, you know, the fours yes. and the pairs mm -hmm. and then another game of fours and stuff like that, so, yeah. Is but, that women uh, only or is that... No, a, open no, gender, yeah, which is good. Cosmo? Yeah, yep. Yep, so we have lots of visiting teams, which is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I was lucky enough to play down at West Lakes just a few weeks ago around Australia Day for their, their tournament, which was absolutely superb as well. So mm -hmm. very lucky, very lucky to, to be bowling on, on your, your wonderful greens yeah. and having the opportunity to come down and, and play in these things because... More and more clubs are looking for fundraising opportunities, oh. that's for sure. Um, it just gets so hard. It does. Trying There's to find those dollars and sponsorship. and You know, sponsorship is another big, big, big thing for the clubs. But that's exactly right. At the moment, our greens are at their best and yes. everything's coming to an end. Yes. So it's not a bad time of year to, to be having perhaps a few tournaments that you can still eke the last bit of the season out. Yeah, yes. We played at a wonderful tournament couple of weeks ago at Brighton. Yes. They had a great, great day there too. So if um, anyone's looking for any tournaments, get onto the Bowls SA website and there's always every tournament um, listed in there and, yep. and clubs are, are invited to to post any of their tournaments or events on the, on that site so that they can get out to all the bowlers in South Australia. So I encourage everyone to get on, and yes. get on board and, and have a look there and get some get some bowlers that may have not wanting their season to finish. Exactly. <laughs> to, to get out and, and, as I said, eat the last bit of yeah. time in the sun and our lovely greens. Yeah. So. And for those that don't go away, most clubs have social bowls on during the week, also weekends, so it's a good time for night hours yes. um, to come out too if they're not working on a Saturday. And it can't be that hard because it looks easy on the telly. So Absolutely. everybody find a set of bowls and get down to your local bowling club and, and give it a go. And then you might see how good some of these bowls actually are. <laughs> you never know. You could be playing in Premier League one day. That's exactly right. There's, I'm sure these bowlers all had to start somewhere at some point in time. And it was probably a grandparent or a parent or a family member that took them along to an event at one point in time. And... Absolutely. And when you look out here, we've got, you know, Josh Studham and Jack Trenorden and Isaac and, oh, Dan and lots of others that have come through the, the junior program, Pro Goonan, mm. um, that have come through our, our, our under-18 system. And, and now here they are playing at the elite level within South Australia. Yep. So that's yep. absolutely fantastic. But they started off as skinny little juniors who came along to a club and were probably holding a set of bowls that was too big for them at the time but um, <laughs> now they're all out here leading the charge and it's an absolute credit yeah credit to them it is okay Preston's lining up yeah. here you look at all the bowls on that centre line they're not far off that no. centre line Coach would say good line. Absolutely. <laughs> line is king. And then you can adjust your weight from there. For sure. And with all the 
bowls in the line there, it makes it very hard to, to use bowls or to come in. You need yep. to be perfect with your, your line and your weight. Mark Haynes wanting to have a say in this end, that's for sure. Mm. Always a picture of concentration with an absolute textbook delivery, Mark. Makes it a little bit difficult starting in the sun, then you're finishing in the, oh, exactly in the shadow right. too, isn't yep. it? He's sort of got the he's got the sun right mm -hmm. in his eye line when he's standing on that mat, and then coming into that shadow. At least on the grass, it doesn't affect the speed of the green. Sometimes it can on a synthetic. You go mm. from quick to slow and slow to quick, and it's like a bit of a nightmare. But yep. um, and Mark's another product through the underage system. Mm. He went on to then coach at under eighteen level, and he's been. An absolute great bolt, Josh. Yeah, well done, Josh. And Mark's been now in our state system for, for many years. Yeah. So yes. Fantastic human and a wonderful bowler. And now his new dad. Yes. <laughs> As well to Daisy. So I said congratulations to him earlier. So it's fabulous. And just Ooh. probably not quite. Josh is just asking how many. Preston said, just draw. Just I'm draw. going to tell him. <laughs> no, they're shaking no. hands. That's it. Okay. Okay, sorry. So we have two, two ranks that are finished and yep, two, two are still going. One should be on their last end and one with three or four to go. Mm. So. Now, what's Nathan got in his back pocket here? He's one down by the looks of yeah, things. Yeah, looks like Westlake's holding one. One down there. Tony Lucas likes it. Coming in. Oh, yes. Ah, what a bowl. What a bowl. What a bowl. <laughs> that big smile on his face. And Isaac <laughs> saying, what can I possibly do? <laughs> There's that Whatever. sportsmanship Absol with Nathan handing the bowl to Isaac. That's great. I've seen that look on Isaac's face a couple of times today. Like, it doesn't matter what we do, they manage to trump us. Yes. So <laughs> we give but the, fantas we away. the fantastic thing is they'll all sit down and have a drink together at the end of the game, regardless of what the result is. Absolutely. That's what's oh, for. great and bowl. Isaac has played an oh, absolute Oh, Isaac's bomb. running around. Look at him. <laughs> Keep the shirt on though, Isaac, please. We, we don't want to be at the soccer. And Nathan's now got a big grin on his face going, okay. <laughs> you line it up. Do you think he'll sink the jack? Oh, he's not going to be short, that's for sure. No. Bowl or jack and he's... Oh, he's got it. Oh, they could pick up a number here. They could do. Definitely got two, possibly three. One in the ditch. Yes. Isaac just needs to get past that pack and he counts. Hands are being shaken. Tony Lucas and Roy Palmer yep. hugging each other, played in <laughs> premierships at West Lakes together mm. and now lined up against each other today. Such is the landscape of bowls in South Australia at prem level. Yes, so much movement, isn't there? Absolutely. So we have three rinks off now. It's always an interesting time of the year, isn't it? When you, you finish then, you hear all the rumours about who's who's moving where and things like that, but you don't believe anything until you see it. No, that's signed. exactly right. Everyone's going somewhere. Yes. So we have one rink, one rink left out there. 27.19 to... 
Nathan. Nathan on that ring, so they must have picked up a number there. Courtesy of Josh killing end after end after end on rink three. They have three ends to play. I do Maybe believe. more. <laughs> At this rate, absolutely. There you go. <laughs> okay, can we order pizzas for tea perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> We've got them back at the club tonight, so you're more than welcome I to know, come back. I know, they've conceded defeat. Okay. They can't can't make up the, the deficit here, so they're shaking hands. That's it. Congratulations all round. Congratulations to all bowlers that represented both clubs out there today. It's an absolute credit. Outstanding bowls. And well done to the Modbury Bowling Club on yes. putting on... A wonderful event here today. The weather conditions were perfect and it Ooh. was the bowls in the end. Absolutely. And thanks to all the spectators and thank you for filling in. My absolute pleasure. Yes. My absolute pleasure. It's far less daunting sitting here than chewing your nails <laughs> watching every bowl your son puts down. So it'll be a happy little camper. So congratulations to the Summerton Bowling Club, a, a fantastic club. I'm sure they'll have a big night tonight. I'm sure they will enjoy a pizza and a Coke yep. and um, get, get round each other and, and enjoy the, the fruits of what's been a long and and demanding season and yeah. they they deserve it well done yes